The climate emergency isn't the only environmental issue that the world is struggling to solve. Plastic products clog our oceans, threatening marine life and polluting the water. At current rates, plastic is predicted to outweigh all the fish in the sea by the year 2050. But in Holland, a new device is a small sign of hope. It's called Waste Shark. It's a remotely controlled device that collects rubbish floating in the water. Dennis Locketier went to find out more. Meet Waste Shark. This remotely controlled mini catamaran has been developed here in Rotterdam to remove plastics and other floating debris from the surface of the water. Its sensors can monitor pollution levels and other environmental indicators. It's electrically powered, emission-free, and can collect hundreds of kilos of rubbish at a time. What we're trying to do is create a small enough vessel that will get into tight spaces where waste collects, particularly in the harbours and the ports, uh, and stop all that waste being taken out into the greater ocean. This is one of the projects that received support from the European funds, allocated to making plastic circular. The European Union is leading the global fight against marine litter. Besides its policies curbing single-use plastics and reducing waste from lost fishing gear, the EU has earmarked 350 million euros for research and development in this area. The startup behind Waste Shark has already got customers in several countries. Prices start at 12,500 euros. The basic function of the Waste Shark is very simple. It just swims around and collects trash from the surface, but inside it's always changing. We're always trying to make it lighter, more efficient, um, easier to do maintenance on, and we're also building an autonomous version um, that will swim around according to waypoints that you give it, so we're always working on that and making it uh, better. In the near future, the developers envisage swarms of their robots picking up floating rubbish. I have a vision in my head that keeps me going, that you'd be sitting in a control room. From our side, we could see where every drone is across the planet, um, how many are operating, how much waste has been caught, and, and, and actually see the real impact that, that these things are making around the world. Millions of tons of waste are ending up in the ocean every year. Technical solutions like Waste Shark are one way to tackle some of the pollution. A more hands-on approach is clean-up campaigns. The old port seafloor in Marseille is covered with litter, from old tires and plastic packaging to electric scooters. Here and in other coastal areas around the world, volunteers are teaming up with international organizations to remove the waste manually. In over 70 beach clean-up events organized by the EU and the UN this year, Almost 40,000 participants collected around 850 tons of waste. Denis Loxier, Euronews.